Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you today an exercise to strengthen your, pretty much your whole leg from the ankle, lower legs, calves, um, inner thighs, outer thighs, hamstrings, but I mean there's nothing that we'll, we won't strengthen with this next exercise. Um, I'm using blocks. Um, in the post below, I'm going to give you some other tips about um, what else to use and what kind of block to use. Okay, so make sure you read um, the, the comments. Um, so I'm going to stand on the block and I put one in front of the other, right? I'll just show you sideways. I'll put one in front of the other just so that my whole foot can fit on the block, especially have you, if you have bigger feet. Right? One block is just not going to be enough and I don't want your toes to kind of have to curl down or something like that. I want the foot to be flat on top. So I'm going to put those together again. Um, and I'm going to place my foot right in the center of the block. Okay, so that there's a lot of stability. And then I'm going to put my other foot, the free foot, right next to the one that's on the block. Okay, so now my big toe base, so this part of my free foot is on the block, so is the inner part of my heel. Let me show you this inner part of my heel here, okay? They're on it. I want to start here as if both of my feet are standing next to each other on the floor because I can check whether my hips are nice and level. You don't want your right hip to be higher or lower than the one that's on the block. Right? So beautifully straight line. Also make sure that you're not rotating in any kind of way your pelvis, right? So both of your hip points are pointing absolutely straight ahead. You're completely flat towards um, an imaginary wall in front of you. Um, I think that's those are the two things that I want you to check here. And then keep a focus on the four points on the bottom of the foot that's on the block. Let me show you. I already showed you the big toe base and the pinky toe base, right? Um, big toe base, sorry, and inner part of the heel. There you go. And then we also have the pinky toe base, right? That ball behind the pinky toe, and then a part in the outer heel, okay? So it's not a perfect rectangle. It's maybe slightly shaped apart, further apart on the toes and a little narrower on the heel, right? So four points, and then as you um, stand on the block, I want you to feel all of those four points really pressing down. And you're going to feel them a little bit better actually if you lift your toes up. You might see me do that. I'm just so used to doing that in order to feel my, my four corners of the feet. Okay, so if you think I'm weird, that's why. You can still think I'm weird. <laughs> all right, so um, your arms are just dangling by your side and then once you have checked your pelvis that it's nice and level, then allow your left leg, the free one, whichever, to come away from the block a little bit as if you're standing on the floor with your feet hip width apart, okay? Oops! Obviously there's no, nothing else now underneath your left foot, so um, all of the work is in your right leg to hold you there. I'm going to show you a few things that will want to happen in your body that I want you to try to avoid. The first thing, as you take the foot away, you might want to push the standing hip out to the side, right? And then your thigh is not perfectly vertical, but it's leaning. So you're going to have to pull that hip, the outer hip in, until you try to get that hip above the ankle. It's hard. Just try. That's the one thing. The other thing that might want to happen is that you drop the free leg down further and it's below. Don't do that. Okay? Lift it up. And then maybe you want to turn. Now for many of us, our toes tend to turn out. So because that right foot is so straight, sometimes the body turns to allow this V position in the feet. So make sure that your shoulders and your hips are not diagonal, but turn them forward, which actually challenges the hip that you're standing on. So you're actually working here, the glute, the, the butt area of the leg that you're standing on. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides right now because I feel my leg getting kind of tired. So let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna just review it with you. You're gonna place the foot in the center of the blocks. And um, 
all toes point directly forward. I didn't mention that too uh, carefully on the other side. So make sure that even your pinky toe is pointing straight ahead. Again, I just talked about that slight rotation. We all want to stand like this, right? So turn all toes forward. It's going to feel strange. It's going to feel very weak at first. It'll get better and you'll strengthen your whole leg that way. Okay, now the other foot, the free foot comes next to it. I'm going to place it down first so that I'm almost standing on two feet. Um, half of my, my uh, left foot here. Hips level, no rotation, okay? No hiking, obviously. I think the hiking will not happen here. Now, really focus on the four corners of the foot that's on the block. Maybe lift your toes to feel it better. And now the moment when you lift the free foot away, that is really, really crucial. So be careful as you try to get that foot away. Whoa, because you don't want to lean out here. Your knees are straight, just straight, not locked, not bent, you're not rotating your body. I feel on this side my body wants to turn, okay, so I'm focusing on pulling the free hip bone forward, the hip bone on the free leg, oh. and I really feel this everywhere. I mean, you might feel this in, several, in any of the parts that I mentioned in the beginning, your butt, your hamstrings, back to the legs, you might feel it in the thigh, you might feel it in the calf, in your foot, in your ankle, it works everything. Where you feel it might be the area where you're particularly weak, okay? All right, and then come on down. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's kind of, I find that's one of the best, greatest um, exercises to strengthen legs because I don't have to actually move. I'm just standing there. It's something you can do anytime. Just grab those black blocks. You can read at the same time. You can do um, anything else. A little multitasking is sometimes not the best idea just because we're not really focusing and then we do all those things and then I'm really not getting anything done. So forget about that. Scratch that. Um, no multitasking. But it doesn't take much effort, right? You don't have to roll out a mat. You don't have to prepare much for it. Just do it. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment and ask me anything that's not clear. There's always so much to explain in every single exercise. We can always go so much more into detail and I would love to get into more detail with you. Um, so shoot me those answers in the comments and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more cool information, head over to PlatesEncyclopedia.com. I'll see you next time.